Hey everybody and welcome to the Spotted Painter channel. It's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm back. I've got loads more content planned. I've got a much better setup that will allow me to really take advantage of uh, my workstation here, the lighting and everything, and show you guys some awesome techniques for miniatures, some great reviews, and maybe even give away some great stuff. Okay, today what we've got is a review of the Epax E10 3D printer. Now this is the 4K version, and they're just about to come out with a 5K version. So they sent me this one, they're gonna send me the upgrade, and then we're gonna be able to see what it, kind of a difference that makes. Sounds fun? All right, let's get into the review and see. What is the Epax E10? Well, it's a resin printer from American company Epax. What does that mean? Well, they ship off the east coast of the U.S. So if you're in the U.S., you don't have the problems normally associated with the long overseas transit times. You don't have the damage that normally comes from that. Also, their customer service is fantastic. Epax is normally considered kind of a premium brand. They're not going to be the cheapest. Okay, They're never going to necessarily be competing on price. They're looking to provide printers that are a little step above and then they're also looking to provide printers that are upgradable so when you buy the e10 it's a 4k it's gonna be able to be upgraded to 5k and a lot of their printers have been that way okay so the components are designed to be replaceable upgradable so you're not just buying this generation you're buying a little bit into the next generation as well which is not something any of the other manufacturers are really doing so it is very unique to epax so the e10 what's good what's bad well what's good first of all it's a sturdy printer it feels solid like this is not something that feels flimsy it doesn't feel like like they were cut in corners some people thought that they might kind of be cut in corners because there's a few parts that are uh plastic that aren't normally plastic but honestly i don't have a problem with those at all if it lowers the price a little bit that's not a problem because nothing feels cheap. The plastic vat is a, is a polycarbonate frame and it feels nice and sturdy. It also makes it a little lighter, which is great when dealing with these unwieldy larger vats. Okay, the printer is nice and smooth going up and down. The noise of the printer is just fine. It's got a level plate by default. Now I normally re-level a plate, even if they say, but you know, for this review, I said, let's trust Epax. Let's just see what happens if we don't touch it. You know what? I've done weeks of prints now on this thing. I haven't touched the level. I haven't messed with it at all. All I've done is just use the factory level just to say, you know what, does that work? It absolutely works. The factory level was dead nuts on, would not change it. One of my favorite things about the E10 is actually the build plate. Now, it is a plastic build plate, but it's got metal welded at the bottom. It works fine. I don't have any issues with that because one of the big advantages, it's hugely sloped. It's got this massive slope down the side. So what that means is all that resin drips off every last little bit. I've never seen a printer that had such little resin pulled on top. So that's fantastic. So what don't I love about the E10 build quality? Well, I'm really nitpicking here. Okay, there's no fill line in the tank, so it can be easy to put too much resin in. The build plate comes down and spill over. That's not too bad. You just put a little resin in, let the build plate come down, then pour the rest in if you think you need a lot for a print. Okay, one of the other things, and this is a problem with many manufacturers in my opinion, is the cover that goes over the printer is almost square so it really only fits in one or two directions but there's nothing to indicate what's the front and what's the back okay so it would be nice if it had some kind of markings there um the quality of the light source there used to be a problem i'm gonna say everything i read said that there were some indications of gridding and they seem to have solved those i ran several tests trying to make this thing do some gridding that should be obvious. So I ran several layers of big flat surfaces to see if I could find gridding. If the gridding is there, it's so slight it doesn't matter. I, I, I can't find it. So it's not been a problem at all for me on this printer. So why the E10? Why the E10 over other printers in the shop? Well, one word, reliable. I know that when I need to get a job done, when a sculptor sends me 
a piece that I've got to print, paint, and photograph in just a very short time frame, I know that the E10 is going to deliver the quality that I need in that time frame. I don't have to worry about it failing, breaking down, doing any of these other things. It just delivers. I've been really stress testing this thing, and I'm just super happy with, with everything coming off of it. Print quality, print quality. Why isn't he talking about print quality? I know. I know we're there now don't worry I know you've all been waiting just to see pictures of the mini but trust me they're worth it the print quality is fantastic and my exposure times are 20 to 30 percent lower than I expected than my other printers I was actually kept overexposing on my test and it took a while for me to dial it in because the light source was much stronger than I expected so if this is the print quality we're getting out of 4k I'm so excited to see the 5k come so let's take a look at some prints. This is the Forest Dragon from Mini Monster Mayhem. So you can see here it's in pieces. There's some super, super thin supports there, right? So those supports, I was so surprised that this printer actually was able to print those at an angle like it is and, and that they worked. I was so shocked. I was sure that that, that was not going to work, but I was willing to try. The cool thing is because the plate is so large, we were actually able to get everything on one plate. The entire Forest Dragon, um, you know, numerous pieces of this thing all fit on one plate, which is just a huge step up from the smaller printers. Okay, then we've got the Gargoyle. This is from Prey Collection Studios. This was a really interesting print because it was all about max z height you know can we print one solid piece i actually contacted the sculptor i said i know you've got this in pieces but let me see it as one solid piece so he sent it to me as one big piece i think he thought i was nuts um, and i said you know what let's stick this on let's see what happens so many hours later pulling this print off it came off beautiful <laughs> Like, I was so shocked how well how well this came off. After that, we've got some minis, just so we can see the detail. You can look at this dwarf, and there's a bunch of really fine hair in the beard that really, if the printer's not dialed in, if the printer's not doing what it's supposed to do, that hair will start to meld together. The little uh, rivets and stuff on his, his skirt those came out beautifully would not hesitate to use this printer for one of him at all you know then we've got the dragonborn you can see all of the scales are just perfectly defined you can see he's just absolutely every, everything just looks crisp and clean you can see just the slightest dot of the eyeball on the dragon in his uh, loincloth as well that's a big deal getting that eyeball um just the, the even, even slightly is pretty rare for printers i've only got one one other printer that will even make a dimple there most of the time that's just filled in and i can't lower exposure anymore on this guy um somebody's gonna say well it's just overexposed it's not overexposed um it's just it depends on the quality of the printer whether or not that particular hole gets filled in or not then we've got this uh sword woman from bloody sword miniatures this gal um you know it tests that long thin sword you know can it hold up can it do those those real tiny supports all along the sword and then she's got buttons on her chest now the buttons i would say are slightly soft that's one one thing where maybe compared to some other printers it's not as crisp but they're definitely there they're definitely paintable um it's not something that i would look at and go oh my gosh i can't believe that it's doing that it's just not quite as crisp as i've seen but i would not hesitate to use this mini would not hesitate to paint this mini this wouldn't be a problem at all all right guys that's a review of the epax e10 so i give it two paintbrushes up maybe maybe we'll use that as a review system we'll see one and a half paintbrushes i don't know how do we do half paintbrushes we'll figure something out um but that's the e10 4k they're about to come out with the 5k don't worry about feeling like you shouldn't buy the 4k now because the 5k is about to come out they've said that the pricing for the 4k plus the upgrade kit will be the same as the 5k so there's no reason not to just go ahead and enjoy the great prints that are coming out of the 4k right now while they're working on the 5k which should be out very soon plus you can use my discount for the 4k so go ahead and pick up an e10 if you need a 3d printer for miniatures 
highly recommended and dealing with epacs in general has been nothing but positive really really recommend them as well their philosophy for their company their customer service really enjoy working with them alrighty guys I've got one last thing to tell you if you drop a comment in the space down below if you drop a comment down there on this video I will hold a drawing one week from today for a bottle of Epex hard resin it's one of my favorite resins it's a great resin if you drop a comment all you gotta do is comment below I will put you in the drawing and we will give away one free bottle of Epex resin. It's a great resin. I just want to get the word out there and let people know that there are some great resins on the market right now. Alrighty. Thanks everybody. We will see you next time.